Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. How are they feeling about you right now? This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different piles to choose from. Pile one, the letter B. Pile two, L. Pile three, N. And four, T. As always, timestamps will be provided. Think of your person of interest and make your selection. If you chose pile one, letter B, here's your reading. Beginning with the legend Arthurian Tarot, Seven of Swords. Death, Ace of Shields, I can already tell from these first three cards, they're feeling very raw, very defensive. El Colgado, the Hanged Man. Seven of Swords again. Four of Pentacles. They're not feeling warm and fuzzy. I do not see this person pining for you. I don't really see them missing you. Two of Cups, Judgment, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Don't be thrown off by the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is nullified by all these cards around it. Um, I mean, I guess you could say it's strong because two of cups are in the first row, but that's not how I read tarot. Ordinarily, yes, it would be strong, the two of cups being in the first row, but I'm looking at the cards around it and they're very problematic. I don't see the two of cups being supported. Um, what I'm getting from these cards is this is someone who is very manipulative, manipulative, 
manipulative. It's pretty much all about them. I'm seeing someone who's very selfish. I feel like this person is shallow. I feel like they're emotionally closed off. They're not emotionally available. The next time they contact you, because they will contact you again, having Ace of Shields in the last row, when they contact you again, it's very likely it's going to be about sex. They could be in a committed relationship or they could be keeping their options open and they're just talking to various people. But I don't see them deciding on you. I don't see them prioritizing this connection. And I am seeing a connection. I'm not seeing a full throttle, balls to the wall relationship. It's all about them. The signifier is alone. And he's just thinking, what can I get out of this? This is not a deep person. I feel like they're really active on social media. They probably have a lot of apps on their phone. Um, they could be on various dating sites. Zeusk, if that's still a thing, I don't know. Zeusk. Okay, Cupid, Tinder, Match, eHarmony. They talk a lot. They sext a lot. Everyone knows what this person looks like. They've seen their stuff. They have this very crazed, chaotic, scattered energy. Um, I would say that they could be a sex addict. Maybe they are sex addict, porn addict, but this kind of thing is common. Um, there are a lot of fuck boys out there. A lot of guys, boys, men who operate like this. Uh, they can be talking to two, three, four, five different women around the same time, you know. This is the energy of a hey babe you up. They send you a text at two, three in the morning. Hey babe, you up? Or just hey, you up? Straight to the point. A possible astro combo for this person could be Sun in Gemini. Taurus rising. Moon in Sagittarius. But again, don't be thrown off by the Two of Cups. It's your reading or it isn't. But according to these cards, I would not say this person is currently in love with you. I would not say that they're just sitting around thinking of you and they're just focusing on you. They're very scattered. They're talking to a lot of different people is what I'm getting from these cards. I wouldn't get excited when this person starts blowing up your phone. I just, I wouldn't. Six, Venus. They do find you attractive. Four, Aquarius, 10, one, Leo, the sun, three, Jupiter, Sagittarius, another three, that's another six, seven, Neptune, Pisces. I can see them looking at your pictures. I can see them fantasizing about you, but it's not romantic. It's just sexual, according to these cards.
fuck boy. the number of Jupiter Sagittarius. We have three eyes. It's all about them. I, 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 me, me, me. Egomaniac. I feel like the word narcissist is thrown around way too much, but they could be a narcissist. They could have narcissistic tendencies. I can see them taking a lot of gym selfies bathroom mirror selfies, Abe, maybe they're bi, maybe you are, but I feel like they have a pretty extensive sexual history. They've had a lot of partners is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. That's what I have for pile one. Hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my numerous playlists, my zodiac readings and my Patreon for in-depth tarot tutorials and astrology videos, which is gracias. Shows the letter L, pile two. Here's your reading. Starting with one of my oldest decks, Legend Arthurian. Three of Spears. Spears are wands. Justice. The Hanged Man. too soon to tell. There's definitely a sexual attraction, but are they in love? Are they missing you? Are they longing for you? Let's get some more clues. Sex card, Ochi de Bastos, Knight of Swords, strong sexual attraction, there's no doubt about that. The world, El Mundo, the moon, La Luna. Two of Pentacles, those the Oros. Ten of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. King of Wands, you've known this person for a while. You keep hoping that they will catch feelings. But if they haven't caught feelings by now, it's unlikely they ever will. I mean, nothing's impossible, but 
We don't have any cups, do we? No, we do not. All we have for water is the Hanged Man, the most passive card in the Major Arcana. So, I feel like this person is passive-aggressive if you confront them directly. Um, they make a lot of excuses. They are very averse to confrontation. They're very avoidant. I feel like this person is blocked. You may have literally blocked this person on social media. They can't access the deeper emotions. They come off very cold. We have all this fire, but this is about lust, their sexual need. I feel like they contact you when they're thirsty, horny. Um, they're very turned on by you, but you want more. You want depth. You want a spiritual connection. Um, it's like Meatloaf sings in that song from the 70s, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. There ain't no coup de ville hiding at the bottom of a Cracker Jack box. I want you. I need you. But there ain't no way I'm ever gonna love you. Now don't be sad. Cause two out of three ain't bad. They could be married. They could still be hung up on an ex. But they're not available for you. They're not emotionally available. They're not in love with you. Not according to these cards. Usual disclaimer. This is a general reading for a vast unseen collective. This is not a personal reading. I'm always available for those, but check out the community tab because <clears throat> if you're watching this in December 2021, which is when I'm uploading it, I'm not going to do personal readings until the first week in January. So I put it on the community tab. Um... But yeah, not a personal reading. It's your story or it isn't. But there's no love here. There's a strong sexual attraction. They want you. They need you. They're not in love. Could be friends with benefits. Could be a situationship. Casual sex. This person is stressed. They have a really demanding job. They could be a single parent. Or they could share the custody of young children with an ex. But I feel like this person is still in love with an ex. <clears throat> A possible astro combo for this person is Sun and Aries. Leo rising. Moon and Libra. One possibility of many. You could have Mars, Venus conjunct. That's really hot. Mars, Venus in opposition, hot. Mars, Venus does not last. If that's all you really have going on in your synastry is Mars conjunct Venus or Mars opposite Venus, well, all I can say is Mars, Venus does not last. <clears throat> you probably don't have good moon synastry with this person. Your moons could not aspect at all. Or maybe it's a really wide orb. Or, I don't know, but I'm not seeing good moon sinistry. I'm not seeing deep feelings here. And I welcome feedback. I like getting comments, but don't ask me any in-depth astrology questions. I mean, I'm not going to answer. Um, so, yeah. I do the channel, I do Patreon, I do personal readings. So I'm not going to give in-depth answers in the comments. Yeah, 
I would say the sexual attraction is quite strong. 666, six is Venus. Two, Cancer, the moon, but I'm not seeing feelings here. And eight is Capricorn. Okay, some letters. Legs. Guns. This person could be in the military. They could be a cop. They could just collect guns. Maybe they're a hunter. They're in Texas. Maybe they have a deer lease. This is random, son, Leo. This is random, but I can see you and this person singing karaoke together. Maybe they have the Smule app on their phone. I had that app years ago. I would sit in the parking lot waiting for my son to get out of school and I would sing on a Smule to kill the time. Okay, that's what I have for pile two. I hope that helps. Hope that was enjoyable. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my numerous playlists, my zodiac readings, and my Patreon for in-depth tarot tutorials and astrology videos. Muchas gracias. chose the letter N, pile three. Here is your reading. Starting with one of my oldest decks, Legend Arthurian. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. Six of Cups. That never happens. That's really positive. That's really high vibration. If this was a personal reading, I would tell my client, just going by these three cards, this person's clearly in love with you. But it's not a personal reading. It's a pick a card, entertainment purposes, blah, blah, blah. I'm reading for a vast unseen collective. Two, three, four, five thousand people may watch this video eventually. But it's looking really good so far. The Empress. Okay. 
Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, the Hanged Man, If this person is currently in love with you, you don't know about it. I don't see them communicating with you. I don't see them blowing up your phone. I don't see them being clear. I don't see them being truthful. They're very evasive. They're very guarded. Nine of Wands. This is someone you've known for a while. To have Nine of Wands twice in the first row like that. Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. This person is in a relationship. I'm seeing third party. I'm seeing this person. Married. So maybe they're going through a divorce and it's really drawn out. It's been drawn out for years. Um, but they have to decide what are they going to do. Maybe you've issued this person an ultimatum. Maybe you've told them to stay the hell out of your life until they can decide what they want. But there are feelings here. Deep feelings. Romantic feelings. They dream about you. They listen to songs and think about you. They wish things were different. Things are what they are. I don't see this person being proactive. If they are telling you that they're stuck in this miserable marriage and they're just staying married because of the kids or giving one of the many excuses people give when they don't really like their life but they're not doing much to change it. If they're telling you that, um, they're saying, oh, you know, I can't stand this person, but we're staying married because of this, this, this. I don't feel like they're being honest. It's a lot more complicated than that. If they are married, um, there's still emotional involvement with an ex or soon-to-be ex. They're not being clear with you. Um, they have feelings for you, but they're not sure. They don't know what the hell they want. And they're not really doing anything. You would have to light a fire under this person's ass, and I wouldn't want to be that person. I wouldn't want to pressure someone to leave a marriage. I mean, you know... If this is resonating at all, if this is your story, I would suggest that you focus on yourself and your life and try to let go, try to detach. Um, I wouldn't wait around for this person. I wouldn't light a fire under their ass. A possible astro combo for this person, they could have sun and cancer, Aries rising, Moon and Sagittarius is one possibility of many. I feel like their natal chart is water and fire dominant. They're very emotional. They're very sensitive. They can be very dramatic. Um, but I was saying earlier, I was saying if this person is in love with you, you don't know about it. I don't know. It could be that you've not talked to this person in a while. You drew a line in the sand. You issued an ultimatum. They didn't step up, so you walked away from this. And if that's the case, I do see them missing you, thinking about you a lot, but they're not communicating. They're not reaching out. Um... They feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. They could be throwing a pity party. They wish things were simple. Things are what they are. 
but it's not so simple as them just having feelings for you. If they are in a relationship, again, there is emotional involvement. So. Okay, the dice. Two, Cancer, the Moon, five, Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. Seven is Neptune Pisces. Another five. One, Leo the Sun. Six, Venus. You should learn when to go you should learn how to say no. Violet, hell, from live through this. name Ford full full in the rain Led Zeppelin Rolo it's a good candy loon crazy as a loon That's what I have for pile three. Hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my numerous playlists, my zodiac readings, and my Patreon for in-depth tarot tutorials and astrology <coughs> videos, which is gracias. Chose the letter T, pile four. Here's your reading. Starting with Legend, Arthurian, one of my oldest decks. My most romantic deck, Queen of Spears, Spears or Wands. Page of Shields, Shields or Pentacles. The Horned One, Carnunos, the Devil. They are feeling horny as hell, thirsty. They need sexual healing. They want to have sex with you as soon as possible. Three of Wands, Queen of Swords. You're very aloof, you're very cerebral, you're detached, and that turns this person on. You're not blowing up their phone. You let them contact you. They're always the one who initiates communication. You could be playing hard to get. You're challenging this person that turns them on. Six of Swords. 
the Joker amplifies the cards around it. Six of Swords again. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Distance is the biggest cock block of all. You could be thousands of miles apart. You could be on different continents. Maybe you're in Australia, they're in Japan, they're in Canada, you're in France, but there's a lot of distance. Could be some Skype sex, FaceTime, WhatsApp, sex on video, exchanging pictures, sexting. Um, but they're very into you sexually, according to these cards. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, my favorite relationship card, Ten of Cups. I was going to say, okay, it's just sexual, but no, not at all. To end on Eight of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, I'm seeing potential relationship here. You could go to where they are, they could come to where you are. Relocation, moving in together and working on something substantial like Ten of Cups. So there is love here. Are they currently in love with you? They could be, but if you've not met in person yet, I just say and this is from experience. I turned 49 in February. Um, you don't really know until you've met in person. The chemistry has to be established in person. As wonderful as technology is, and you can see everything on video, whatever, you have to smell the person. You have to feel them. So, um, before I met my first husband, we met online in 2000. He was in New York. I was in Texas. We had all this buildup. We would have phone marathons. We never did the video thing. This was 2000, so we didn't have FaceTime and all that. There was no social media, um, not even MySpace. But we would talk on the phone for literally hours. We would send letters, email. There was all this buildup, all this expectation. Then we met in person, and it was kind of anticlimactic. I mean, the chemistry was still there, but it was very complicated. We did get married, but... Um, if we had met in person earlier on, if we had met locally, dated locally, if he'd been in Texas or I'd been in New York, I don't think we would have ended up getting married. So if this is long distance and you haven't met in person yet, um, you're not really going to know until you meet in person. But, I mean, this is pretty serious with eight of pentacles, ten of cups like that. And... We have a signifier in the first row and in the last row. So according to these cards, and as usual, as always, this is not a personal reading. So it's your story or it isn't. According to these cards, you're about the same age. One of you has more air in your natal chart. I feel like this is you and your person has more fire. A possible astral combo for your person could be Sun and Sagittarius, Taurus Rising, Moon and Libra, just one possibility. And we also have Nine of Pentacles. And with, I never say this, I just don't, I don't go there, but with Nine of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, there could be a pregnancy soon, like when you meet, there could be a pregnancy. I'm definitely seeing a lot of sex. But if you and this person ever do actually co-create the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, I can see you having at least a couple of children. Anyway, um, you could have Sun and Libra, Capricorn Rising, Moon and Cancer. So you're all cardinal. The cardinal signs are Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. You could have an all cardinal astro combo, perhaps. But they do find you fascinating. They find you very visually appealing. I can see them looking at your photographs and just saying, wow, I hit the jackpot. 
I would say they're in love, according to these cards. Strong sexual attraction, and there is love here. So they want to get together as soon as possible and make a baby. Yeah, good times, good stuff. Two, Cancer, the moon. They want you to be the mother or father of their children. One, Leo the sun. So we have the mother and the father. One, Leo the sun. Three, Jupiter Sagittarius. Four, Aquarius. Love. A lot of love, Led Zeppelin. That is not how you spell ferret. Perhaps this person has a pet ferret. F-E-R-R-E-T. Ferret. I got me a pet ferret named Roscoe. Roscoe Pico Train from Dukes of Hazard. No. <laughs> Maybe this person is a mailman or male person, male woman. They got a route. They deliver mail. They deliver pizza, ice cream, some damn thing. This is true love. They want to kiss your foot. They want to kiss your feet. Well, you get the gist. Maybe they went to UT, hook them horns. My sister graduated from UT in 1999. Yep. That's what I have for Pile 4, and that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.